In your mind, how do you differentiate between leadership and management? Which is more important? I've observed that many people believe one matters more than the other. I disagree. To be successful, you have to have both leadership and management skills. We're gonna explore the difference, bust some myths, and give you a chance to see where you fit on the continuum. So what do leaders and managers do? What's the difference between leadership and management? Is it just about titles? Peter Drucker, one of the greatest thinkers of the last century, said that management is doing things right, while leadership is doing the right things. Leadership involves defining an overall agenda. That's the vision and the strategies, as well as inspiring others to achieve it. Management involves implementing strategies and turning visions into accomplishments by motivating, organizing, and guiding the efforts of others. Both activities are necessary for visions to be created as well as achieved. The confusion around these two terms is massive, and that misunderstanding gets in the way of substantive discussions about how to build a company, position it for success, and win in the 21st century. There are three major mistakes that people make when it comes to leadership and management. The first mistake is that people use the terms management and leadership interchangeably. They fail to recognize the difference, the crucial differences between the two and the vital functions of each role. Management and leadership are different, and using these two words to mean the same thing is the first major mistake that many people make. Next is the mistake of titles. People use the term leadership to refer to the people at the very top of hierarchies. Then they call the people in the layers below them in the organization management. And all the rest are workers, specialists, and individual contributors. This is also a mistake and is very misleading. I do have to confess that I do at times do the same thing and catch myself. And while I want to honor the language used in an organization, conflating title and the work people do is mistake number two. The final mistake I'll mention is when leadership is connected to personality characteristics. Whether it's charisma or some other trait that we hold out to be the leadership personality, it creates a false conclusion that only few people can provide leadership because they're the ones that have that particular trait. This is the primary myth that I bust in the book, Your Leadership Voice. You can be a powerful, amazing leader, being the best of yourself, not a poor imitation of a famous leader. Let's talk about management and leadership. As we do, our mantra is that you must lead people and manage work tasks. Both are essential for effectiveness. Let's start with management. This is a set of well-known processes like planning, budgeting, structuring jobs, staffing jobs, measuring performance, and problem solving, which helps an organization to predictably do what it knows how to do well. Management helps you to produce products and services as you have promised. Products and services of consistent quality, on budget, day after day, week after week, in organizations of any size and complexity. This is an enormously difficult task. Leaders consistently underestimate how complex and time-consuming this task really is. So management is crucial, but it is not leadership. Leadership's entirely different. It's associated with taking an organization into the future, finding opportunities that are coming at it faster and faster and successfully using those opportunities for an exponential future gain. Leadership is about vision, about people buying in, about empowerment, and most of all, about producing useful change. Leadership is not about attributes. It's about behavior. And in an ever faster moving world, leadership is increasingly needed from more and more people, no matter where they are in a hierarchy. The idea that a few extraordinary people at the top can provide all the leadership needed today is ridiculous. And it's a recipe for failure. Some people still argue that we must replace management with leadership. This is obviously not so. 
They serve different yet essential functions. We need magnificent management and we need more extraordinary leadership. We need to be able to make our complex organizations reliable and efficient. And we need them to transition into the future, the right future at an accelerated pace no matter the size of the changes required to make that happen. It's a both and, a function in the organization. The amount of leadership versus the amount of management behaviors you need to do changes depends on the position, but they are always both needed within the organization. Where does your current role fall on the leadership and management continuum? Remember to lead people and manage work tasks. Both are essential to effectiveness. We created the Leadership and Management Effectiveness Success Toolkit that has helped many organizations educate their leaders and managers. It includes segments like this, only they're live, a workbook, and a supporting app to enhance the learning experience. To find out more, check out the Success Toolkit which will help your people grow in their leadership and management and build on your collective brilliance. Bright on with Brighton Leadership.